That lawyer is going to pick you apart in open court tomorrow. Let him try. Danny Crane. Listen. Danny Crane. Donnie Crane. 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 Well, if you need a second chair, it would be nice for Paul Lewiston to know that I exist. Danny Crane, you got him. We pick the opportunity for you to meet him, lunch perhaps. And then what? Then he craves. Then you order appetite. You don't want me to say anything? Just those two little words that tend to shock and awe. Then he craves. And certainly you've heard of this gentleman. He needs no introduction. Then he craves. But you have a job to do, and so do I. Yours is to sell socks and suspenders. Mine is to cross-examine people like you and crush them. This man here would fire me if I didn't. Danny Crane. He would, but are you people ready to try this case? I could try it. Danny Crane. Now I'm going to ask you a series of... Danny Crane. Why did you just say that? Well, isn't that how you guys usually begin a mental status examination by determining if the subject knows his own name? Well, yes. Danny Crane. Got it. And who am I, Mr. Crane? You are Dr. Thomas H. Lee, neurologist. Good. Can you tell me what day of the week this is? Monday. And a particularly crisp and beautiful one, too, I might add. Good. And who is the current president of the United States? That would be Ernest Borgnine. Ah. <laughs> I'll bet you get lunatics in here every day that, that say that stuff for real, right? The current president of the United States is George Walker Bush, son to George Herbert Walker Bush, whose father was a late United States Senator Prescott Bush, who, as an undergraduate at Yale, once wrestled my father in the nude. But that's a story for another day. Let's stick to the issues at hand. Denny Crane. And, long story short, happily, the toaster company was open to my argument. What argument? That an attorney, like... Denny Crane, with extensive class action experience, could easily turn Mr. Shrum's case into a lucrative opportunity. On the other hand, if they were to give Denny Crane their ongoing legal business, augmenting the fine work done by the in-house counsel, then Denny Crane would be unavailable to represent Mr. Shrum, who incidentally is going to receive $50,000 from the company is a goodwill gesture. So don't you worry too much, Paul, about Denny Crane. Dr. Gerard. Yes. Denny Crane, single. Alan Shore. Do you even know what to ask? Did she examine the plaintiff? Does she feel the plaintiff will comply with the study protocol? She'll answer yes or no. We'll get in a bunch of rhetoric about the uh, need for safeguards, and then we'll go have a cheesesteak. And you can live with yourself. Very great. Hey! Move it! Got one now. Got him. Get that weapon. weapon. Litigation has been underperforming, Sally. Plus, our image around town is becoming that of... Denny Crane. Exactly. Truth is, we need a kick in the ass, and I'm glad she's back. Ah, uh, Lori. Denny Crane. All right. Come on. She's still hot. Comment after Denny the... Crane. Motion. I eat cocoa puffs, Danny Crane, cuckoo for cocoa puffs, Danny Crane. I'm satisfied the judge took it under advisement. It at least demonstrates a recognition on her part that we have a colorable cause of action. Did you understand a word that was said on that? Just go in. Danny Crane, tricks for kids. Glad I met you. Did he just say tricks for kids? He did. 
I'm not sure you're really the lawyer for this particular... We have many attorneys well-equipped to handle... Nonsense! I've been practicing law for 45 years. Never lost a single case. You've never lost? My record is 6,043 to 0. Oh. You hear the one about the fellow who died, went to the pearly gates? St. Peter let him in, sees a guy in a suit making a closing argument. He says, who's that? St. Peter says, oh, that's God. Thinks he's Denny Crane. <laughs> Did my client tell you that this drug is unapproved by the FDA? Yes. Did he tell you that uh, there could be side effects? Yes. You were fully informed? I was. You consented? I did. Take it again? Absolutely. Like the doctor? Love him. How's your memory? My memory's fine. What's my name? Denny Crane. Like you mean it. Denny Crane. What's my name? Denny Crane! No further questions. More experience for me. Donnie Crane. Denny Crane. Donnie Crane. You got on this case specifically because I'm on it. I did. You want to get me? I do. I love it. Denny Crane. Donnie Crane. Danny Crane. Donnie Crane. Danny Crane. Donnie Crane. It's simply about wanting to continue my legacy for centuries to come. I'm perhaps the greatest lawyer of all time, and oh, I want that I'm time better. to Danny continue Crane. I'm better. into the future. How are you, sweetie? Still the king. Danny Crane. What if somebody wanted to get frozen to avoid the draft? Let him move to Canada. Freeze his balls off. Danny Crane. It's also a sexist diagnosis, as well as bogus. If a man was running around trying to shtip everything he could, we wouldn't say that he had a disease. We would just call him... Denny Crane. Exactly. Um, you got to that judge. I don't know what you're talking about. You knew his ruling by heart. Boilerplate. A ruling that was ridiculously pro-defense. Denny Crane. 